Hello everyone. Today we will discuss current affair quiz 2nd July 2022. So let's start the video. First question is Capstone which was seen in the news recently is a satellite launched by which space agency and the options are A NASA, B ESA which is European Space Agency, C SpaceX, D Roscosmos. Answer is A NASA. Explanation NASA's capstone could help future spacecraft determine their location without the help of Earth based antennae. NASA's capstone mission has successfully launched on Rocket Labs Electron rocket at 5.55 am EDT, 3.25 pm IST on June 28. Next question is. In the PSLV C-53 mission, ISRO launched three satellites of which country and the options are A. Nepal, B. Bangladesh, C. Singapore, D. New Zealand. Answer is C. Singapore. Explanation In its second successful mission within a week, ISRO launched three foreign satellites in precise orbit from the spaceport here on Thursday. Next question is What is the budgetary outlay of computerization of primary agricultural credit societies? And the options are A. 216 crores, B. 2516 crores, C. 750 crores, D. 7216 crores. Answer is B. 2516 crores. Explanation The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs, chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, approved computerization of primary agricultural credit societies with a budgetary outlay of 2516 crores. The objective is to increase efficiency of PSCS, bring transparency and accountability in their operations. This project proposes computerization of about 63,000 functional PSCS over a period of five years with Government of India share of 1,528 crore. State cooperative banks and district central cooperative banks were already automated by NABARD, which is NABARD, and brought on common banking software. Next question is, which is the venue of the 11th World Urban Forum held on 2022? And the options are A. Spain, B. Poland, C. Australia, D. France. Answer is B. Poland. Explanation The 11th World Urban Forum was held in Poland. The National Institute of Urban Affairs Climate Center for Cities, World Resources Institute India and their partners launched India's first national coalition platform for urban nature-based solutions. India Forum for Nature-Based Solutions aimed to create a collective of NBS enterprises, government entities and like-minded organizations to aid in scaling urban nature-based solutions. Next question is, 2022 Resilient Democracy Statement is associated with which global association? And the options are A. G20, B. BRICS, C. G7, D. ASEAN. Answer is C. G7. Explanation Leaders of the powerful G7 grouping and its five partner countries, including India, issued a joint statement titled 2022 Resilient Democracy Statement. The leaders affirmed that they are committed to open public debate and the free flow of information online and offline while guarding the freedom, independence and diversity of civil society actors. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe my channel if you want more videos.